In a stunning turn of events, the Canada Revenue Agency, CRA, has just dropped a bombshell announcement that's set to revolutionize the financial landscape for seniors and low-income earners across the nation. Brace yourselves for a game-changing boost to your Canada Pension Plan, CPP payments. An extra $2,100 is heading your way, promising to ease the burden of rising living costs and potentially transforming countless lives. As the news reverberates through communities from coast to coast, questions abound. What does this mean for you? How will it impact your daily life? And most importantly, how can you ensure you don't miss out on this unprecedented windfall? As we delve into the details of this monumental development, it's crucial to understand the far-reaching implications of the CRA's decision. This isn't just a simple increase in benefits. It's a paradigm shift in how the government approaches financial support for some of its most vulnerable citizens. The announcement of an additional $2,100 in CPP payments represents a significant commitment to improving the quality of life for seniors and low-income earners, acknowledging the challenges they face in an increasingly expensive world. The timing of this announcement couldn't be more critical. With inflation rates soaring and the cost of living climbing to new heights, many Canadians have found themselves struggling to make ends meet. Seniors, in particular, have been hit hard by these economic pressures, often forced to choose between essential needs like food, medication, and housing. This boost to CPP payments offers a glimmer of hope, a financial lifeline that could mean the difference between barely scraping by and enjoying a more comfortable, dignified retirement. For low-income earners, this increase in CPP payments could be truly transformative. Many individuals in this category have long felt overlooked by traditional economic policies, trapped in a cycle of financial insecurity despite their best efforts. The extra $2,100 represents more than just money. It's an opportunity for greater stability, a chance to build a small safety net, or perhaps even the means to invest in personal development or education that could lead to better job prospects. As news of this game-changing announcement spreads, it's natural for questions and concerns to arise. How will this additional payment be distributed? Will it be a one-time boost or a permanent increase to monthly CPP payments? Are there any eligibility requirements or conditions attached to receiving this extra money? These are all valid queries that deserve thorough examination and clear answers. One of the most pressing questions on everyone's mind is undoubtedly the timeline for implementation. When can seniors and low-income earners expect to see this additional $2,100 reflected in their CPP payments? The CRA's announcement, while groundbreaking, leads room for speculation about the logistical details of rolling out such a significant increase. Will it be phased in gradually, or can recipients anticipate a lump sum payment in the near future? It's important to note that this increase in CPP payments doesn't exist in a vacuum. It's part of a broader conversation about social safety nets, income inequality, and the role of government in supporting its citizens. The decision to boost CPP payments by $2,100 reflects a growing recognition of the challenges faced by seniors and low-income earners in today's economy. It's a step towards addressing the gap between the rising cost of living and stagnant incomes that has left many Canadians feeling financially vulnerable. The impact of this announcement extends beyond the immediate financial relief it promises. It has the potential to stimulate local economies as seniors and low-income earners find themselves with more disposable income. This could lead to increased spending in communities across Canada, benefiting small businesses and potentially creating a ripple effect of economic growth. Moreover, the psychological impact of this financial boost shouldn't be underestimated. For many recipients, it could alleviate stress and anxiety about making ends meet, contributing to improved mental health and overall well-being. As we consider the implications of this game-changing news, it's worth exploring how it fits into the broader context of Canada's pension system. The Canada Pension Plan has long been a cornerstone of retirement planning for Canadians, but it has faced criticism in recent years for not keeping pace with the real-world financial needs of retirees. This substantial increase in payments could be seen as a tacit acknowledgement of these concerns and a step towards ensuring that the CPP remains a robust and relevant support system for future generations. The announcement of an additional $2,100 in CPP payments also raises important questions about the sustainability of such increases. How will this boost be funded? Will it require adjustments to CPP contribution rates for current workers? These are complex issues that deserve careful consideration and transparent communication from the CRA and other government agencies involved in administering the Canada Pension Plan. For seniors who are already receiving CPP payments, this news may come as a welcome surprise. 
many retirees have found themselves grappling with the challenge of making their savings last throughout their retirement years, particularly as life expectancies continue to increase. An extra $2,100 could provide a much-needed buffer, allowing for a bit more financial flexibility and peace of mind. It could mean the ability to afford better health care, pursue hobbies or interests that were previously out of reach, or simply enjoy a higher quality of life without constant worry about finances. Low-income earners who are still in the workforce may view this announcement through a different lens. For them, the prospect of an additional $2,100 in future CPP payments could serve as an incentive to continue contributing to the system. It may also prompt younger workers to pay more attention to their CPP contributions and retirement planning in general, recognizing the potential long-term benefits of a stronger pension system. As news of this game-changing announcement continues to spread, it's likely that financial advisors and retirement planning experts will be inundated with questions from clients seeking to understand how this increase will affect their overall financial picture. It's important for individuals to seek professional advice tailored to their specific circumstances, as the impact of this boost in CPP payments may vary depending on factors such as other sources of retirement income, tax implications, and eligibility for other government benefits. The CRA's announcement also highlights the ongoing debate about the adequacy of government support for seniors and low-income individuals. While an additional $2,100 in CVP payments is undoubtedly significant, some advocates may argue that more needs to be done to address the root causes of financial insecurity among these populations. This could include calls for further increases to the CPP, reforms to other social programs, or broader economic policies aimed at reducing income inequality. As we await more details about the implementation of this increase, it's worth considering how individuals can best prepare to make the most of this additional income. Financial literacy will play a crucial role in ensuring that recipients can maximize the benefits of this boost to their CPP payments. Community organizations, financial institutions, and government agencies may need to step up their efforts to provide education and resources to help seniors and low-income earners make informed decisions about managing this extra money. The announcement of an additional $2,100 in CPP payments also serves as a reminder of the importance of staying informed about changes to government programs and benefits. Many eligible individuals miss out on support. They're entitled to simply because they're unaware of the programs available to them or don't know how to navigate the application process. This underscores the need for clear, accessible communication from the CRA and other government agencies about this new increase and any related changes to the CPP system. For some recipients, this boost in CPP payments could provide an opportunity to address long-standing financial challenges. It might allow them to pay off debts, make necessary home repairs or modifications to age in place more comfortably, or even start a small emergency fund. These seemingly small changes can have a profound impact on an individual's financial stability and overall quality of life. The ripple effects of this announcement may extend to other areas of social policy as well. If the increased CPP payments prove successful in improving the financial well-being of seniors and low-income earners, it could potentially influence discussions about other support programs, such as old age security or the guaranteed income supplement. Policymakers may look to the outcomes of this CPP boost as they consider future adjustments to the cannabis social safety net. As we consider the potential benefits of this increase in CPP payments, it's also important to acknowledge that it may not solve all the financial challenges faced by seniors and low-income earners. Issues such as affordable housing, rising health care costs, and the increasing expense of long-term care remain significant concerns. While the additional $2,100 is certainly welcome, it should be viewed as part of a broader conversation about how to ensure financial security and dignity for all Canadians as they age. The CRA's announcement may also spark discussions about intergenerational equity and the sustainability of pension systems in the face of changing demographics. As cannabis population continues to age, ensuring that retirement support programs remain viable for future generations becomes increasingly important. The decision to boost CPP payments now could have implications for how the system is structured and funded in the years to come. For many seniors and low-income earners, the news of an additional $2,100 in CPP payments may feel like a validation of their contributions to society. It's a recognition of the challenges they face and an attempt to provide meaningful support. This acknowledgement alone can have a powerful impact on individuals' sense of value and belonging within their communities. As the details of this game-changing announcement continue to unfold, 
it's clear that its impact will be felt far beyond the immediate financial boost it provides. It has the potential to reshape conversations about retirement planning, social support systems, and the role of government in ensuring the financial well-being of its citizens. The coming months will likely bring further clarifications and discussions as Canadians grapple with the implications of this significant change to the CPP. For now, seniors and low-income earners across Canada can look forward to a future that includes an extra $2,100 in their CPP payments. While questions about implementation and long-term sustainability remain, there's no denying the immediate sense of relief and possibility that this announcement brings. As we await more information, it's an opportunity for all Canadians to reflect on the importance of financial security in retirement and the ongoing efforts to create a more equitable and supportive society for all. In conclusion, the CRA's announcement of an additional $2,100 in CPP payments for seniors and low-income earners is truly a game-changing development. It represents a significant step towards addressing the financial challenges faced by some of Canada's most vulnerable populations. As we move forward, it will be crucial to monitor the implementation of this increase, its impact on recipients' lives, and its broader implications for Canada's pension system and social policies. This announcement may well mark the beginning of a new chapter in how we approach retirement security and income support in Canada, offering hope and improved financial stability for countless individuals across the nation.